I like fluffy dogs, derpy dogs, chunky dogs, wiggle jiggle dogs. I like the big booty dogs with a bow. Oh, um, hi? Wow. Hi, hi. Pretending you didn't notice what just happened, we are going to turn this adorable ball of floofs into a fantasy character. And how am I going to do this? Well, I'm just going to find a random border collie out in the street and, well, kind of dress in a warrior's garb and just take a picture, right? <laughs> okay, let's go to the canvas. Border collies are actually shepherd dogs, so they take care of sheep. So I figured I wanted to add a sheep in the composition along with the doggo. And as border collies originate from the border that is between England and Scotland, is why I wanted to decide to go with a mix of both for the outfit both for Scottish and, well, England attributes. I also took the chance to look at which type of sheep breed is exactly in that same location that Border Collies originate from. And, oh my, those ears! Just look how cute these sheep are! It's like you took a bunny and a sheep and combined the two! <laughs> okay, back to our drawing, I first went ahead and drew the composition. Meaning, what I wanted to be seen in the actual frame, starting with the general shape and placement of everyone. And it was really important to me to try and tell a story with this artwork. And my idea was of a battle hearted border collie and their battle sheep companion. So, of course, <laughs> naturally, I had the sheep wear an eye patch. <laughs> oh, and I went with a black and white border collie, since it's the most iconic coloration of a border collie. But there are actually a ton of wonderful and unique border collie colors. Then I went ahead and did some reference work, getting a few pictures of sheep and border collies which usually takes me about 20 to 30 minutes, but due to some reason, this time it might have taken me a bit longer. Oh my god, look at how floof this guy is. Look at those chunky boys. <laughs> yeah, so after I get some reference, I get into the nitty gritty rendering of the four mouth teeth and like the rest of the stuff. And I actually used the same method that I showed in my Clip Studio texture guide for the Scottish pattern in this artwork too. And I ended up realizing that I didn't set my values too well early on and I had to compensate for it with the layer and the mask and well just complete hell for fixing values. However, it did remind me about something else that is very tough, which is raising puppies. Border collies are very similar to other puppies, they are absolute land sharks. They will bite you a lot in an instant as well part of playing for them but it really hurts. And well when they're teething, prepare your ankles for battle scars pretty much. <laughs> But when they grow up, they're really loyal, quiet, and friendly. Well, as long as you get them enough exercise so they aren't too pent up with energy and start going zoomies and eat all of your furniture. <laughs> I had the fortune to have some experience with both Golden Retrievers, Labradors, um, German Shepherds, some Pugs, Pomeranians, Highland Terriers. And I can definitely say that Border Collies are on a whole different level when it comes down to understanding you. I didn't require more than two to three repetitions with most tricks to teach them pretty much anything. Of course they have a specific thing like any dog that they can't really understand. Some dogs have a really hard time laying down while others, well, they have a really hard time understanding to hold on to something. All in all, Border Collies are a wonderful breed and I'm glad to have spent the time with any type of dog really. And if you have a dog, what breed is it and what dog breed would you like me to paint next? Oh, and if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you. I like fluffy dogs, derpy dogs, chunky dogs, wiggle jiggle dogs. I like the pink booty dogs with the pink.